Creative App Project Portfolio Design and Development Process With no experience in game design or development, I decided to use the weekly tasks to directly or indirectly drive my game forward. My idea was to generate three weekly sprites uh, that would run simultaneously with the weekly tasks and try to develop, develop parts of the game accordingly with the weekly theme. This way, even if the weekly task itself couldn't be used to further develop my game, I would still work on it within the set theme and use the unrelated tasks to draw ideas, inspiration and to develop my skills in the new software packages that I needed to learn for this effect. In my first week, thanks to my tutor and peer suge suggestions and advice, I discovered new software packages and websites that I used to choose the name for my game. My research helped to cement the importance of the Unity game engine in tandem with the c -sharp programming language, and I immediately started watching basic tutorials on Pluralsight and YouTube about both of the subjects. In the second and third weeks, the theme was narrative design. Here the task itself consisted in developing and building a narrative for a RAN Pi game that uses the Python programming language tasks fell far from my smart goal of learning C sharp, but I used the inspiration to develop the narrative from my own game, where I plotted the first scenes, dialogues, the storyline and the background story of some of the characters. In the fourth and fifth weeks we were tasked with the color research and I used the weekly tasks to gain a better understanding of color theory and design, and to start developing a color scheme for my game that would from one side give the players a sense of not nostalgia with the use of strong primary colors used in the games from the 90s with some elements of modern color design to create a bridge between the two worlds not only to connect the two dec decades but also to demonstrate the difference between the digital and the real world where the game levels would take place for the end of the fifth and the duration of the sixth week I used the weekly tasks to develop a character for my game, giving this way an underlying theme of robot enemies. Once again inspired by past glory games where the evil characters always had some kind of robotic element to them. Derived from the rapid development of robotics in the industry sector and the phobia that robots would eventually render all of us useless. In these weeks I also greatly developed my skills in Photoshop. The activities of the 7th, 8th and 9th weeks centered around sound design and engineering and I used them to develop sounds for the user interface and for some of the character actions. An incredibly complex subject that gave me the opportunity to learn or at least scratch the surface of some sound software packages like Audacity and LMMS. For the 10th and 11th weeks I was introduced to the Maya 3D modeling software that I loved learning how to use and that like all the other software packages that I was introduced in this module is going to be invaluable for the further development of the Spatula of Doom game in all my future ende endeavors. Here once again I used the weekly activities to generate an animated 3D logo and animation for my game. The background videos here presented are from a level of the Spatula of Doom that is still in development and where I applied most of the content produced in the weekly tasks in conjunction with my self-learning and exploration. Even in, in its infancy I feel that it has been an incredible learning experience and that I decidedly increased my knowledge not only on my initially smart goals but also on an array of subjects that directly interact and support them making me a more rounded future professional with skills in all areas of game design. In resume, all the activities and supporting weekly content in this master's module were presented in a logical progression to develop a, a game from scratch, starting from the idea phase and progressing by highlighting pivotal subjects like color, sound, character and 3D design. All of them designed to spark our interest on the subject at hand, but with enough room 
develop and build upon our, our own practice, whether that be a game or an app, and in the process, introduce us with industry-standard task-specific software that are invaluable to their development.